everybody it's Roya I'm back for another video as you all can see by the title today's video we're going to be doing a quick review of a fall winter fragrance that I fell in love with and I could not let go by like the season go by without me reviewing it for you guys and that is none other than Christian Dior's Ombre Nuit I am going to jump right in I have amazing amazing thoughts about this um particular fragrance um yeah so i don't want to ramble y'all let's jump in all right you guys so i got this a few months back specifically for fall and winter you guys know i purchased my first dior fragrance sometime like mid last year if i'm not mistaken for spring and so probably around this time last year and fell in love with it it was Gris Dior when I got that fragrance I got a sample of this inside of it as well and instantly fell in love this is the most unique unisex scent I've ever smelt in my entire life now the thing with Dior is that I've been having an issue with the ouds I'm not a big oud girl I don't like the, the 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 heaviness of them they just don't do it for me so i was having a very hard time getting into like the oud ispahan the oud rosewood it just wasn't doing it for me when i came across this and tobacco Lair, i just fell in love i felt like not only was it spicy enough for me it gives like a oud ish but it's not like your whole foot isn't in the oud category at all this is very wearable to me for i just feel like for me and my body chemistry ouds are just not the best and i think that's what makes it kind of hard for me to get into a like some niche sense and things like that because the oud is just too oody and it it, it it just it goes overboard it's overkill for me and i i just steer clear of it but this y'all is amazing now i picked up the 1.3 fluid ounce it's 125 dollars from the christian dior website this is one of the la Prive collection fragrances so you can only get it in christian dior boutiques or directly from their website you're not going to find this at a like fragrance counter in a macy's nordstrom or department store and you guys i will honestly say this doesn't smell like a department store fragrance like this is heavily elevated i'm gonna ensure that i leave the specific notes across the screen for you guys so you know specifically what's in it um of course i'm gonna tell you guys like what i think it smells like now my particular bottle doesn't look very used and that's because it hasn't been very used I got this in so many variations of a sample that I've just been going through those. I even got two like travel size versions of this. So I just decanted them into automizers. And when I wear the fragrance all season long, every time I wore it, I just had to use those or my samples. I just very, I think I purposely sprayed from it twice just because I was like, my goodness, when am I going to use the actual bottle that I paid for? Because Dior keeps sending me so many freaking samples of this. So I highly recommend ordering from Dior for that reason as well. Um, whether this was the fragrance you were looking into, Gris Dior, um, Oud Espahan, Oud Rosewood, um, Tobacco Lair, any of the ones you've been looking into, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting them. I highly recommend signing up for Dior's loyalty program. I highly recommend searching the web for a code before you order so that you can get some goodies um, inside when you receive it. You guys saw me um, unbox my Eden Rock perfume that I also got from Dior and I got a multitude of great goodies in there, a cosmetic pouch. I got to try some other scents. So Dior does not disappoint. This is $125 well spent. This comes in a multitude of other sizes which I will leave across the screen for you as well. When it comes to the projection on this fragrance i feel like it it's 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 about midway as far as projection um it's out there but it's not overtly loud um this is definitely a unisex scent this is not steering heavily towards a man or heavily towards a woman this is very neutral um this is something that i feel like babe could wear 
and we could both wear it and it's gonna develop completely different on us. I feel like this would develop on a man's body chemistry much differently. I'm actually gonna try that and while I'm editing, I'll let y'all know how that goes. I'm gonna try it on Clarence, but this just on me develops into this very ambery, saffrony, beast mode fragrance without being like, oh my God, it's taking up the room and I'm choking. No, this is beast mode, like, come here, what you got on? Come, you, you, come here, what you got on? That's what this does on my body and I love it. Um, I don't see this in spring, summer for me at all. So I'm putting it away, but this is great for the fall and the winter. As soon as fall starts, I think this is perfect and it definitely tiptoes its way into winter. It did for me. This is perfect for a wool coat, perfect for your scarves and just that cold, cozy weather, but you want to smell super elevated and expensive expensive if you want to smell expensive you're going to want this this again is not one of those scents that you're going to smell at your average you know beauty counter uh macy's nordstrom places like that no this is very elevated very well done just like i said about Gris Dior. just an all-around soothing aromatic romantic ambery saffrony scent that develops differently on everybody and i think that's what i really really enjoy about christian dior is that the scents develop really well on a multitude of different body chemistries and i've experienced that i've tried it on my mom um one of my friends um i tried Gris dior on clarence and it developed differently and so where I didn't think that was unisex, it actually really, really is. So, and I've said this time and time again, and I love the little packaging that they come in, but I've said this time and time again, we've got a lot of fragrance houses or like fashion houses that are doing these super exclusive fragrance lines because they don't want to feel you know just generic and they don't want it to feel like oh i could just walk up to this counter and like order you know order this or buy this or whatever they're coming out with fragrances but dior is the only house that's really really screaming to me as you can see at this point guys i've got three of them they're utterly amazing um, I th I've said it time and time again too. I thought that uh, Louis Vuitton was just going to be it for me. And there's literally one fragrance that I'm like, okay, I'm, I might indulge. You know what I mean? So I just think if you have been in the market for an ambery, saffrony, unisex scent that projects just the right amount would go perfect with any body chemistry and it's going to give you this elevated exclusive signature scent for the season because it's a good fall winter season scent i highly recommend ombre nui you guys i have just been in love i just recommend dior in general because i've really really been in love with my purchases the customer service the way i've been treated the things that you're receiving the packaging the experience the whole night it's been great so if you're looking like i said for a nice ambery saffrony scent um nice unisex scent that is just going to give you that nice elevated sophisticated feel ombre nui by christian dior is definitely worth a look everything that i wanted to share with you guys in reference to ombre nui by christian dior as always if you're an oldie but goodie thank you so much for coming back and joining me if you're new don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out i'll see y'all on my next one bye